It was an early spring day, and I had walked down to the Star Comet Hive, not taking a hive tool with me, just planning to refill the nectar feeder in top of the, on the top of the hive. So I took off the lid and found that there were guard bees guarding the upper entrance in the hive attic. There was some mold in the feeder, so I removed it to wipe it out. And when I came back, I saw a large red wasp, a queen wasp, perched on the top of the hive attic. This is not that unusual because in the early spring, the queen wasps are the only ones who've survived the winter and they're out looking for a new place to build their nest. Well, naturally that was not gonna work out for our bees. So two of the guards attacked the queen wasp one of them quickly gave way to the wasp and left her sister there by herself to fight this much, much larger intruder. The other sisters just kind of vanished into the air. So here we have this little bee battling for the security of the hive and this very large red wasp stinging right back. Now bees, when they sting humans, tend to lose their lives because their stinger stays in our soft skin. But they can sting a wasp numerous times and inject venom in that wasp each time they sting and still survive to uh, live another day. I thought it was pretty interesting how intense this battle was, going stinger to head and head to stinger until finally it seemed that our little bee was trying to drag the larger wasp out of her hive. Well, if the wasp survived, it would go back and lick its wounds and then come back another day. So I decided that I probably needed to take matters into my own hands. And as soon as I had a chance, I did just that. The bees can now celebrate their deus ex machina, but what are they gonna do with the corpse? Once again, our little guard bee tries to do it by herself, no help from her friends. She goes and does some calisthenics to try to build up her energy and get herself psyched up. But it seemed righteous to help her out. All right, the wasp is out of the hive, rather a large wasp. So back to my job of replacing the feeder and refilling it. <laughs> 